Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF17 and we're looking at the LS6 500 Glide Bomb. If you've flown the F18 or seen the F18, it's just like the JSAL that the F18 has. It's a glide weapon with no onboard propulsion, so its range is purely based on the altitude and the speed that we release it at. It has a 1,000 pound or nearly 1,000 pound high explosive warhead. We can carry up to four of them. The reason we're starting in the mission editor is we can use this weapon like in the Hornet in two different ways. One, pre-planned. Two, target of your opportunity. Pre-planned means you already know where the targets are and you can input them into the data computer ahead of taking off. Target of opportunity is where you find a target once you're in flight. When it comes to the pre-plan mode, there are three ways of adding those targets, those tar that target data into the data computer. One, mission editor. Two, F10 map in-game. Three, through the UFC of the actual aircraft. Now the UFC in the aircraft is, to be honest, a pain in the butt. You wouldn't really want to do it. So we're going to show the mission editor and the F10 method. So we're going to click on our plane here. We're going to go to the navigation target point. We're going to go add. There are three solid targets here that will not move and therefore we can make their pre-planned targets. And then there's a fourth target here which will move, which will have to do with the target of opportunity. So three bombs are going to be pre-planned one target of opportunity so add on there and you must call it i don't know why it's called it that but it's going to be exactly as i write here pp1 add another target there pp2 add another target there pp3 i'm going to go back and review them quickly pp1 pp2 pp3 the elevation of the point is automatic it will automatically go down to you know the ground level or the sea level the lowest point and then we're going to jump into the cockpit so we're in game now if we didn't want to add the target points to the mission editor we could press the f10 key now and find the island and what we would do here mark point mark point label and pp1 and pp2 and you get the idea must be spelled exactly as I'm spelling it, PP3. The next thing we need to do is arm up. We can have the bombs on. Well, they're actually called missiles. Pylons 2, 3, 5, and 6. And we will need a T-pod to designate for our TOO, our target of opportunity. You could do it through the HUD, but obviously if you've got the opportunity, you're going to do it through a T-pod. Rearmed now, our usual procedure of putting the data cartridge in that you're all used to by now, I'm sure. And just to prove that those F10 waypoints have come in, so those F10 target points have come in, we're going to go to destination and scroll down to, it'll be about in the 30s they start at the target points. And you can see 36, 37 and 38, these are our PP1, PP2 and PP3 as de designated off the F10 menu. So we're going to take off now and find that island. Okay, we're in the air now. Our target, I believe, is that little island off our front there. So let's go air to ground mode. Check our master arm is on, which it is. The bombs are now warming up, you can see. They're now all warmed up and ready to go. Now the first three bombs I'm going to send out on our pre-planned mode. So pre-planned. How many bombs do you want to fire at once? We're just going to go for one. If we did fire more than one at once, then we got the interval here for a ripple. Breakaway altitude, simply not relevant for this type of bomb. Fuse, we can have impact or a delay. The weapon is obviously the LS6. So that's everything set up here. Next, we want to go to control. For our first pre-planned target, which channel do we want to use? This is basically which memory slot. If you remember, there was 36, 37 and 38 that we brought in through the F10 menu. Well, let's just go for 36 for the first bomb. Note that it takes about three minutes to align the weapons. And we've come into here, we can see the alignment. There's the alignment quality, which is going to be comparable to the system in the JSAL. Here is the alignment time. We cannot fire the weapon. Or we should not fire the weapon until we are fully aligned. And that's okay because we can do other stuff while that's busy aligning. Out of interest, if you wanted, we can cycle through the different uh, pre-planned points that we've got there and it will tell us the northern easting and the altitude let's quickly skip over to our hsd where we get a situational awareness from so if we zoom out it's kindly put the information the diamond is our speed which is our target for pre-planned one target the circle around it is our minimum drop range as with the j cells we have a minimum drop range the maximum drop range is that mark there we are currently outside of the maximum drop range as we get closer this maximum marker will move towards our ship 
Once it's at our ship, we are in range to fire, and this dotted line will go solid. That's all we need to know. At that point, we can then fire the weapon. There is some extra information we can play with if we want. Impact azimuth. So, if we wanted the bomb to come in from a certain direction, then we can play with that. Let's say... Uh, 090. We go over here then, and then what it's telling us is that we need to be in this area here, facing towards the target, if we want to drop the bomb so that it can go in at the angle that it's been asked to go in at. For instance, if it had to avoid some high-rise buildings, if it had to avoid some SAM, something like that. Now, I don't want that because I simply don't have that uh, problem here. It's an unarmed island. So if I want to cancel that, the way to do it is to click on it again, put an, in an invalid number like 999. It's now off, and now we can fire it at any angle. It's kind of similar thing here. This is the vertical angle. Do we want it to come in at 45 degrees or 30 degrees or 10 degrees or straight down at 90 degrees? We can choose whatever we want. Um, and I, you know, 90 or, or something. I suggest just leaving it at 45. Not something generally we want to play about. Again, another reason, maybe if the uh, target was in between high-rise buildings and you needed the bomb to come down from the top, that could be a, a, another reason for that. OAP is the only one that we can't figure out. It does not say in the manual what it does. So if you know, and we can't get it to make any difference to the bomb, if you know OAP, let me know. No, it's not old age pensioners. It's a fully aligned and the align quality is zero. So we are essentially ready to fire. All we need to do now is get within the maximum range marker. Now remember, this is a dynamic launch zone. The faster we go, the higher we go, the more kinetic energy or the more uh, mechanical energy this bomb will have, the further it will be able to go. So this is looking about 20 miles or something like that. So, we're going to unpause now, increase our speed, increase our altitude. We'll see that dynamic launch zone change very quickly. You can see just a few uh, feet of climbing and a bit of speed and we're already in range. So, we're going to press and hold weapon release with the first weapon. Our next weapon is our next uh, uh, guy here is, is selected. We've got all the same options as before. We're going to go into control panel. We're going to check the next pre-planned target. And that is it, all ready to go. So unpause and fire. And the next one, we're gonna go pre-planned and we're gonna go control and we're gonna go channel 38 and we're gonna go fire. So that there is our first three off on Salvo, sorry, Ripple pre-planned. Well now watch these babies go in. Iron Mal. Spy Mal and Dry Mal. That's our Ripple execution of our pre-planned mode. We've got one bomb left. We're going to use it in target of opportunity through designation of a SPI via the targeting pod. That screen's used, that screen's used, so we're gonna go down here, ping, we're gonna go to pod, we're gonna go to targeting pod, turn her on, cage, make sure we're soy as we are, find the target, narrow, zoom in, and we're gonna struggle, but let's try and get that target there. A little bit far for this. Okay, we've got a point track on that guy there. That means we've created a speed there that we can fire on with our target of opportunity mode. So we're just going to check everything. Everything is set up there. Control. Target of opportunity. So it's going to automatically slave to our speed here. OAP off. Option we're going to leave as single. Space is non-operative. Check that we are in our dynamic launch zone. You can see we've got a solid line. We're good to fire. Unpause. Wee and warning, warning, it's all away warning. what a handsome looking bomb if there is such a thing and I think that's going to be a strike boom thumping warhead just destroyed absolutely atomized everything there so really good effective weapon we've showed how to use it on pre-planned we've showed how to single we've showed how to ripple and we showed how to target of opportunity from a designation. You can also designate the speed from the HUD or, or a waypoint. But again, realistically, it's going to be from a teapot. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.